I think the point to remember when you're dealing with this kind of terrorist threat is that the bad guys have to get lucky just once, whereas the forces of goodness and truth, the forces of law and order, uh, have to be vigilant and successful all the time if we are to stop any attacks. So, uh, of course, after an event like this, everybody immediately looks at the intelligence and the traces they're left behind to see what more we can learn about who they were, where they came from, who tasked them, and what further risks and threats there might be. So I think uh, I, I myself wouldn't talk about weaknesses and failures and why didn't we stop it. Uh, it is really very difficult to be 100% sure. We've all been working on this for a long time. My Prime Minister has made clear the last few months we've stopped numerous ISIL-sponsored terrorist attacks in the United Kingdom. Uh, who knows, uh, the next threat, uh, the next successful attack could be in any one of a number of different cities. Doesn't mean to say that our intelligence services are not geared up expanding their operations, improving their cooperation, uh, looking at what's going on. Um, but it does mean that we have to be even more vigilant uh, and we have to be as strong as we can in learning the lessons from what's gone on. And one of the things that we are doing with our French friends and with our Belgian friends and our partners across Europe as well as here in the United States is trying to ensure that we've all got access to the same critical information so that we can head off this kind of thing before the next atrocity.